Are you an artist? When people ask you what you do, what do you tell them? Because I, I, I think I've been telling people the wrong thing. <laughs> Greetings people of the internet, I'm Scott with Surfworks Art Labs. Welcome mad creators to the underground laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. We're going to work on some robots today, we're going to work on some blueprint robots, but uh, there's a topic I wanted to talk about. Because I'm an artist, I mean I have an, an art day job, but then I work, I do uh, my own stuff on the side and everything, so most of what I do uh, is centered around art. But, uh, you know, when people ask me what I do, um, it's hard to come up, kind of figure out what to tell them. Um, and usually, I kind of just revert to the day job, you know. Oh, I, I tell them, yo, I design, you know, I'm an artist, I'm an illustrator, graphic designer, I design products for the paper craft industry. Of course, most people don't know what, what, that, what that means and everything. But, but, I, but for whatever reason, I, I go into what my day job is because that is, that's sort of what largely pays the bills. But is that really who I am? I mean, is that, I mean, I do other stuff too. Why, why am I not talking about about the stuff that I'm really passionate about. Why don't I tell them, oh, I, you know, I've got mad science supplies and I, I put on a green lab coat and I'm on YouTube and you know all the all the cool stuff that 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 I, I'm really into and all the you know that I design, I draw robots and aliens and, and all that kind of stuff. But for whatever reason, I don't tell them that. And I, I think that's because. You know, I think when people, what do you do? You you always associate who you are, I guess, with what what your job is. And even and if you're not doing art for a living, if you're doing it on the side, does that make you any less of an artist? I don't think so because I don't I don't really think that this is what makes you an artist. I think this stuff here, all this stuff, is what makes you an artist. So even if you're not getting paid to do art, if you're doing if you're doing art all the time, you're an artist. And I think it's time we kind of step up and start telling people, hey, you know, you could even say, you know, well, you know, I've got I've got a day job. It's this, but what I really what I really do, what I really love to do, is I'm an artist. I I draw, and we should we should really be promoting that instead of maybe you know what might not be as important to us. So. Um, so that's what I want to talk about today, kind of these perceptions of, you know, how how we describe who we are and everything and, and, and why you don't have to, you know, just to, in order to be an artist, you don't have to be working professionally as an artist. If you're creating art, then you're an artist and you should be proud of that. So I want to talk about that and I want to work on a blueprint drawing. So without any further delay, let's get to it. So I want to propose a question, and that is, what makes us artists? And I think if we go back, I think you know, to when we were kids. I think we're all. I think we all we all start out as artists, and because we're all creative as a kid, we don't as kids we don't really have the reservations about oh, this isn't really going to look good if I draw that. We just do it. We just have fun doing it. We're we're free to, you know, express our creativity and, you know, so we'll, you know, we'll draw, everyone draws the, you know, the house, the, the, the little box with the triangle on top or trees or the sun and everything. And, you know, we're just, and, and, oh, that's, that's, that's what it is and everything. And then, you know, somewhere along the line, you know, that kind of, that creativity for a lot of us, unfortunately, it kind of gets you know, sort of beaten out of us, you know, whether it's from, peers or people in authority or family like oh well you know that doesn't really look a lot like a house or that's not a really that's not a good house and you know and unfortunately some of us get discouraged and we we hang it up way too soon we you know we put the crayons away and we're like yeah i i really don't like coloring anymore or that's you know sometimes we'll tell people that but that may not be the case we may have loved to do that until somebody said well you're really not this you're really not that good at this or that's not the color of this or you're doing it wrong and you get a lot of that which is ridiculous because there's no wrong way to to create art in my opinion but but that's it's the same case with a lot of things you know it's sometimes people view different things we do as childish or whatever just just using your imagination um, and I don't know for whatever reason I was kind of lucky and I never got out of that and you know I'm getting older and everything but I never 
I don't think I've ever kind of really lost that childlike wonder, and I think that's why I continue to create and want to make things, and because it makes me feel young, and I feel fortunate that I was able to kind of stick with what I love, and you know, now I, I do make a living doing art and everything, but that, you know, honestly, that's not what makes me an artist. I, I know a lot of people that have, have, you know, they pay their bills with things that have nothing to do with art, but, but they have a passion for doing art and they love it and they're creating constantly and, and that's, that's what makes you an artist, that you're creating art and you enjoy it and you have a passion for it and so really when, when, when you know, people ask you what you do, you know, I mean you could tell them what you do for your, your day job, but is that really is that, is that really what's most important to you? So I mean, and and it's just so weird that that's kind of the question everyone gets. Well, what what do you do? You know, and you know, and that's a question you get. And some and sometimes you'll all say I'm an artist, and then you go into the whole thing or whatever. And some people are like, well, that that's cool, um, and they want to know, you know, when did you when did you start drawing and everything? And that's another weird question because. Sometimes I like to flip it around and ask them a question, and that's, well, when did you stop drawing? Because everyone draws when they're kids. I just kind of continue to draw. Um, and, uh, you know, that's, that's basically all there is to it. So, I mean, so Picasso has this great quote that it's, it's all children are born as artists. The problem is to remain an artist as we grow up. And I really like that quote because that kind of drives that whole point home. But I, I don't think we should be identified solely with what our primary occupation is. And, you know, some people, there are people out there that are doing exactly what they want to do. If it's an art thing, maybe, maybe they do make their full living off of, uh, you know, if they draw characters or, or whatever they do. And that's what they do and that's how they earn the, all of their, their living and everything. Um, some people have similar jobs, like I'm in the, sort of that camp where, where I get to draw every day and I get paid for it and that's pretty cool, but it's not necessarily the this, this stuff that I would rather be drawing. I mean, I draw a lot of flowers and, and, but I get to draw some cool stuff. I, you know, I draw Christmas stuff and I draw, you know, Halloween stuff and all that stuff. But I don't really get to choose what I draw. It's just, you know, it's whatever, <laughs> whatever they need to put out there in, in the day. So, but if I, if I had my druthers, I'd rather be drawing robots and I'd rather be drawing aliens and heroes and villains and, and all that kind of stuff. And, but I still get a chance to do that on the side. But, um, but yeah, we shouldn't just be identified with our day job, so to speak, because and a lot of people aren't fortunate enough to do that, or maybe they don't want to. I know a lot of people that they just want a normal everyday job, and they don't want they, they don't want those two worlds to mix, and I can totally understand that as well. Um, but whatever the case is, if if you if what you really love to do is to create, to draw, to paint, to sculpt. Uh, whatever kind of art or whatever whatever you're into, I, I'm assuming it's art because it's sort of an art channel, but whatever it is you're really passionate about, you know, you can, when somebody asks you what you do for a living, you can tell them, you can tell them your day job, but just as an aside, you know, it's kind of like, well, you know, I'm a, I'm a toll booth operator, but, you know, what's really cool about that is I, there's a lot of downtime, and I'm in the booth, and I got my sketchbook with me, and I really love to draw, and I create, and, you know, and then I started, you know, taking some of my drawings and I put them online. And when, they, when people hear your passion, they're not concentrating on, you know, the, the toll booth thing. They're concentrating on what you really like to do. And I think that's really how should, we should approach uh, when people ask, you know, what it is we do. Because it's not always necessarily um, where that paycheck comes from. It's, it's what, what we what we enjoy doing and what what you know what we can speak to with passion and we can we can talk about and so so that just that's how I would that's what I'm going to try to do now as I when I get asked that question 
All right, so another blueprint drawing down. We've touched upon another topic. And again, when I say touched on, that's kind of all we did. Um, I think we can go into a further discussion about this. So, you know, if you want to, we can do that in the comments sections. Or if you're interested in talking more about this, maybe we can do a, a longer video on, on the subject. But, but anyway, I want to know how you guys, what do you guys think of yourselves? Whether if you are, say maybe you're a graphic designer, but you really like illustrating. When people ask you what you do, do you say graphic designer? Say if you you, um, say if you're a plumber but you really like to make comics when people ask you what you do do you say well I'm in the plumbing business or do you say I like to make comics then because I I think that's gonna be a lot more exciting for people that when you talk about the what really you're passionate about so anyway let me know in the comments section uh, how you guys uh, describe what you do I'm, I'm really curious about that so I will see you guys later that is all Hey everyone, thanks for joining me here in the Art Lab. There's a lot of other great content on the channel, so click that subscribe button and you won't miss a thing. If you're an aspiring evil genius, visit SoapWorks.com for all your mad science supply needs. And if you want to contact me, hit me up in the comments section or follow me on social media. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you then.